What is up everybody, Dirk here, and today I'm going to be going through some audio theory, in particularly how fast speakers move, or more specifically how fast speaker cone moves. So for the example, I'm going to be using a driver at 50 hertz, which is getting 2 inches of excursion, or 5 centimeters, which is quite a bit, but it makes it easy and it gives a nice big number at the end. So there are two equations. Uh, the first one is for the average velocity, which is speed equals distance over time, a standard physics equation. And the next one is for the maximum, or actually it's instantaneous, but in this one I'll be using it to find the maximum, which is velocity equals omega. That's a lowercase omega. I don't have a Greek keyboard, so times amplitude times the sine of uh, w more omega times time. So I know it looks complex, but don't worry, it's not that difficult. I'll show you how you can get rid of half the equation later on because you're using the maximum and not some random value. So for the first equation, speed equals distance over time. Uh, to find the distance, it's pretty simple. The cone moves one inch out, then one inch back to the middle, then one inch in, then one inch back to the middle which totals 4 inches or 10 centimeters. So every cycle, for every hertz it does, it moves 4 inches. And then for time, uh, time is the inverse of frequency. So very easy, time equals 1 over 50 seconds. So when you plug them into the equation, speed equals distance over time, you get 0.1 divided by 1 divided by 50 which equals 5 meters per second. So relatively fast. And just how fast? Well, here are the conversions. 18 kilometers per hour, or 11.25 miles an hour. So yeah, it's about a running pace. It's pretty quick, and that's its average velocity. But to find its maximum velocity, we need to get into a wee bit of calculus. Don't worry, it's not too deep. But here we have a graph of the speaker cone moving. You can see up the top, it goes down, in and out, so on. And to plot its velocity, well, first you have a look. It's not moving very fast at the top or the bottom. You know, when a speaker's all the way out, it moves out, then stops, then it moves back in, then stops. So in the middle, it's actually moving the fastest. And when it's fully out and fully in, it's moving the slowest. So if you log this on a graph where the fastest point is the top, and the slowest point is in the middle, you end up getting this graph here. So as you can see where it's moving quickly, the graph is high, where it's moving slowly, the graph is low. When it's moving quickly in the opposite direction, the graph is in the negative. And when it's moving, when it's stopped again, it's in the middle. And also I'll get into what these symbols up here mean, pi and such. So something you'll notice is this is a cos wave this is a cosine wave and the reason why it's called a cosine wave is because it actually starts up instead of a sine wave which starts in the middle a cosine wave starts away from the middle already now this is the default kind of for audio which is a bit counterintuitive but it's how the equations work out best so here we have the sine wave and we can see that to find the maximum velocity, we actually need to go to this point here, where it's at its highest. So this point here is between 0 and pi. So this is pi divided by 2, which is 90 degrees. Once again, I know it sounds a bit weird, but it's 90 degrees. And this is equal to the number which is w times time, this one here. And if you get a calculator and you put sine 90 into it, you'll get a nice number, which is just simply 1. So V equals W times A, or omega times A times 1. So we can just get rid of that part of the equation. So it's just omega times A. So what is omega? It's 2 times pi times the frequency. So it's just 2 times 3.14 times 50, right? Which gets you this nice number, 3.14. So if though if you were using 100 hertz, that number would be 100 and so on. But it's 50 hertz, so we get 3.14.
And now for amplitude, we already know what the amplitude is, which is half of its excursion. So the amplitude here is 0.25 centimeters, which is turning it back to the correct units because to get the correct numbers, you need to use the correct units. And in physics, it's all meters. So 2.5 centimeters or one inch is 0.025 meters. Now we just put these values into the equation up here and we get 7.85 meters per second. So the peak speed of it, not the average speed, but the peak speed is 28.26 kilometers per hour or 17.66 miles an hour, which is quite a bit faster. So concluding, uh, you can see that a speaker moving five centimeters at 50 hertz, doesn't matter how wide it is, uh, all that matters is it's moving that distance at that frequency has a maximum velocity of 7.85 meters per second and an average velocity of 5 meters per second or the maximum is 1.57 times the average or inverse is the average is 0.637 times the maximum which is in check with uh, equations to calculate average average voltage of a sine wave so yeah that's how to work out speaker cone velocity just by plugging numbers into those equations i know it's a few steps and it gets a bit confusing possibly but luckily for the second one all it is is two times pi times the frequency times how far the speaker moves forward from the middle or backward from the middle but yeah thanks for watching if you're interested i'm going to be doing how fast the speaker accelerates which is actually a bit more interesting it's a quite a higher number than five meters per second in the next one so subscribe and if you thought this video was interesting and want to see more like it hit the like button anyway thanks for watching